So hey guys, what's up? Um, today I got this new to me Marshall amp and I also went ahead and installed a couple new pickups in my project guitar or my kit guitar that I built a few months ago. So let's go ahead and check them out, see how they sound and uh, you know, stay tuned. So this amp features 40 watts of all tube power. There's a switch on the back that allows you to cut it down to 20 watts if need be. I think that's what I'm on right now. Uh, comes with clean channel with a crunch, you know, thing going on. It's got two different lead channels or, you know, two different lead types, high gain. Uh, they all share the same EQ. It's a little bit limited, but, you know, this is for kind of practice gigging, small venue kind of stuff. It's got a presence and a resonance control on the power amp section, and it's got two different reverbs, one for your classic channel, and then one independently that you can kind of blend in for your lead channel. So without further ado, let's just check out some cleans real quick, and then I'll talk about the pickups. So I went ahead and I took out the Seymour Duncan quarter pound that was in my telly here and I took out the generic Amazon P90 pickup that was in the neck. Mainly because I wanted something a little bit fatter in the neck that was actually a P90 and I also wanted a humbucker sound for the bridge. But I was also able to get a Telecaster size humbucker that actually has a coil split option so I can do all single coil too. So that's pretty cool. So this is the Seymour Duncan Little 59 and it's basically a PAF style humbucker in a Telecaster size and then in the neck here which I'm really excited about is the Seymour Duncan Fat Cat humbucker size P90 which to me is just an awesome sounding pickup. So what I just played right now was just the um, 59 going through the clean channel and you know no coil split so let's check out the 59 and kind of how it sounds humbucker and coil split on cleans So yeah, when you split that humbucker, it has a real spanky, almost strat-like tone. You know, it really does capture kind of that twang of the Telecaster. But, I also have a humbucker. Now let's go over to the Fat Cat. So again, it is a single coil, technically, P90s are single coils, but they're wound hotter, they're fuller, they got a nice bottom end, especially in the neck position, and what you're hearing is a very chimey kind of ring out that, you know, Strat style um, single coils and normal single coils don't really have quite that chimey bell kind of ring to me, you know, and this pickup has it. In fact, one of my favorite things to do for clean tones on this guitar is to split the Fat Cat and keep the humbucker, you know, the humbucker engaged on the neck, or on the bridge, I mean, and mix those two sounds together. What it does is it just gives a little bit more mid-range into that, you know, overall sound, kind of fills out that, you know, that center of the EQ, and it makes for a really good tone that you can then push into overdrive or distortion to get a little bit more of a lead tone without having to really change much about the clean tone. So let's move on to crunch and kind of, you know, distortion tones. So when you engage the crunch button on this amp, 
big volume boost. And so you have to kind of adjust that volume to kind of compensate. But it sounds pretty good. I mean, it's a very classic crunch Marshall tone. You know, if I split the coil on the humbucker. You get that little bit of twang. You could almost do like country, southern rock with it. Not bad. So let's move on to the high gain stuff. There's two modes. Lead one is more of a, like a straight up rock tone. And if you felt so inclined, you could go over to the P, you know, the P90 and get a little bit more spank out of it. And a little more low end kind of uh, woofiness, uh, just because that P90 is a bit of a hotter pickup actually than this uh, little 59. Or at least it sounds hotter. I don't think the resistance, I think the resistance on this is actually lower, but for some reason the way this is voiced is just not quite as, you know, full throttle as this thing sounds. So let's go into lead two. Now this is where you can get a little bit more into the, uh, the early days of metal. Now there's also a tone shift which scoops the mids a bit and you can get more into that like JCM style, you know, um, thrash tones. But something like that could really benefit from having like a boost in front of it. So. I'm going to turn on the uh, SD-1, uh, the boss, and see if we can't pump it up a little bit. Yeah, that's basically the sound. Turn the tone shift off and you can probably push it into more modern range, you know, drop the tuning down to like drop B. It's not bad. I think though this um, little 59 is just a little too tame for that kind of sound. So I'm gonna go grab a different guitar so we can kind of hear what this sounds like with a little bit more aggression. All right, so this is my newly acquired Ibanez multi-scale guitar with the Fishman Fluence Moderns. Um, pretty simple setup. You know, got the voice one, voice two, push-pull. Really cool guitar. I mean, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I definitely would like to have that. But yeah, so let's see what it sounds like with a little bit more of a modern flavor to it, you know, on the high gain. So let's go ahead and check it out with just the lead two channel without the boost engage to see how it sounds first. It's not bad. It's just a little bit like thuddy and you know, that, that low end's very much present. And you can probably dial some of that out. I got the resonance control all the way down. And currently though, this guitar is only in drop B flat, which is the low tuning, but it's not like the lowest of the low. It is still a baritone tuning, but we're not talking like, you know, drop E1 or, you know, D1 or anything in that, you know, real like sub sub level. So I'm gonna engage the boost to tighten it up. And I think it's pretty fantastic sound. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I think, you know, with a little bit of tweaking, you know, maybe a little bit more deep dive into trying to get the tone exactly where I want it, I could make this sound even better. But just, you know, for my first time really messing with it, I think it sounds pretty good. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick rundown. I mean, I literally just got this stuff within the last few days, and I haven't even had a chance to really mess with it much. But, you know, here it is. So let me know if you have any thoughts, comments, or... Um, you know, if you own this amp or have something similar that you can kind of give me some tips on how to dial it in for uh, some high gain applications, that'd be kind of cool. I'm mainly going to use it for kind of clean, some crunchy blue stuff, but I would also like another option just for slightly different tonality, you know, compared to like the Mesa or the uh, EVH. Um, anyway, see you guys later.